Oh, wow. Sorry about that. Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. It is good to be back. It is really good to be back. I'm glad to be back. All right, so uh, we're going to get into uh, – got to give up for today. Edgar Berlanger and Patrick McCrory. Hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is an interesting fight. Uh, I'm really not impressed with either guy. So this, it was a, it was an interesting fight to break down, but uh, I'm, I'm clear – I'm clearly convinced on, on, on this one and i'm seeing this clearly but before we get into this please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog and all forms of social media uh the boxing book comes at you for every single major fight showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing uh, i'm going to show you how to um consistently make money bring down the house i don't gamble i use DraftKings. you can't even use DraftKings in texas but if you do gamble, I'm going to show you how to make that second source of income. There's always a bull market somewhere. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on this sport. Um, please subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description. You get all types of cool perks. Uh, it's just $5 a month. You get the lock of the week. You get the free T-shirt. You can request any fight you want me to break down. Uh, there's a ton of perks in it if you just uh, – just five bucks a month, you get all of this and more. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Uh, like I said, I'm really not blown away by either fighter at all. Both these fighters are mid to me. Uh, but I, I do think one guy's clearly going to win. Um, McCrory is a 35-year-old prospect. He's 18-0, nine knockouts. His last three fights have gone the distance. He fights from range. He's not athletic. And I'm not trying to disparage him, but he's one of these white, European, British, UK-type people um, who fight from range like a slickster, but they're not slick. Like So they're just going to get hooked hit and, and caught and tagged over and over again. He fights a lot with his hands down. Uh, I, I think he's slow in plotting. He is accurate with the lead right hook. Like That's a check that he gets. He's very accurate, very precise with the lead right hook. There's not a ton on it. He's not a big puncher. He doesn't really sit down on his punch as well. Um, but he, he's good with that, with that punch. He, he's good at maintaining the distance. But he does telegraph a lot of his – Punches, particularly the straight left. It appears, you know, as he's been going longer into fights, that he has gas tank issues. He's not a volume guy. Neither man in here is a volume puncher. So I, I, you know, this this has all the makings of a stinker, honestly. Unless um, Belanger can can land something big, this fight may really stink. Um, you know, Berlanga could land something because, like I said. McCrory is not a slickster, and he fights his, with his hands low. He might get pegged. He's not that re he doesn't have those cat like reflexes. Um, good body punch. I, I like the way he throws the right hook to the body. He picks it well. He selects it well. Um, he's he's good with it. He'll move his head. You know, he looks like an instructional video, right? And the guy made an instructional video. Because he's not very good, right? He could make a living in boxing, so he made an instructional video. That's Pedrick McCrory. Like, uh, he does things, some things that are okay. He's just not at that level. Like, I, I don't – I think Quigley's better than him, honestly. It's, it's also, I've noticed his face swells up. So there could be a late stoppage. Uh, and I kind of like Berlanga by late stoppage, but we're going to get to that in just a minute. Uh, he's easy to hit on the inside. He keeps his hands low. His face swells up. Like, to me, this just has all the makings of a late stoppage. I'm just putting that out there. It could be a, you know, a corner stoppage. It could be a doctor stoppage. It, or Belanger could just flatten him. All of those things are possible. Now, a lot of people, Edgar Belanger, the 16th straight first round knockouts. He hasn't gotten a knockout now. And he hasn't gotten a stoppage in three years now uh, at all. He's a hard, clean puncher. He's a bit more athletic. He's got lively legs, but I don't think he's a great athlete either. He's also 
not a volume puncher. He does not let his hands lose. I think he's far too selective with his shots. You know, this is a fight. you got to throw punches, and he'll just show up. If he doesn't like what he's seeing, he reminds me of a quarterback who just throws the ball away. You know, like, if, you know, if he doesn't like what he sees, he's got a dirty pocket. He doesn't like what he sees. Like, okay, you got to stand in a, a little bit and, and, and throw. He, he'll beat McCrory, but at the highest level, you can't throw 20 punches around. I mean, this is just not going to fly. Um He's also not good at cutting the ring off. So he doesn't throw, he doesn't cut the ring off. So he's just chasing you around the ring. I'm not really, I'm not a, a Berlanger fan. I get that he's a draw. I get people wanted to sign him. I get, you know, he's going to have a big fan base and he should be fighting all his fights at the Garden. This fight in particular should be in the Garden. I don't know why they put it in Florida. Um, you know, the one thing I really can't stand about playing is how badly he misses punches on the inside, from the outside. He's just constantly whiffing. Right, like he's missing punches. Like if it was a good counter puncher who could stand in, he'd be toast. He'd be meat. Uh, he misses punches like wildly, and like it's not even like he's winding up. He just throw a right hand and miss it by ten inches. It's like he he's flawed. Like, I'm not a fan of his. I think top rank maxed him out, got him attention when he's really not deserving of it. Like there are better 168 pounders who get less attention. Than Edgar Belanga. So I'd actually give a, a tip of a hat to top rank on that. He's not great at closing distance, and McCrory's good at maintaining distance. So that's kind of McCrory's path to victory. I just think McCrory's going to be too easy to hit and too slow that, you know, Berlanga is going to get in there. He's going to impose his will. You know, like I said, he throws everything hard, which is a good thing and a bad thing. He, he needs to change up tempos, but he, and he doesn't. He's got a left hook that's gold, too. So it's a right hooker and a left hooker, conventional or southpaw. It's going to be interesting. I think Brian beats him down. Let's take a take a look at this. Uh, let's pull up the odds on this. Can you guys hear that in the background? Is that too loud? I, I've got locked on Longhorns in the, in the background. Is it, is it too loud? Should I have turned that down? Here it is. Let me pull this up here. They're not putting uh, – you know, it, it's an interesting – little bet here and i'm gonna do a one and a half times bet i would like to put money on a stoppage a, a little bet half a bet on a stoppage i know berlanger hasn't gotten a stoppage in three years and that's concerning his power is good and this is a fight where i think he can get a stoppage he almost um got a stoppage with quigley in the 12th round and there's a ton uh, if you go to daily motion you can get a ton of mccrory fights he's not good uh, so I'm going to take Berlanga one and a half times bet, just a money line bet. $150 bet is going to make us $28.57. Uh, he's a minus 525. I like this as part of a parlay. I like Berlanga as part of a parlay. I like Andy Cruz. Oh, well, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to, 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 I'm going to send this over to the Patreon. If you're in the Patreon, you're going to get my parlay. You're going to get my lock of the week. I'm going to send it over probably tomorrow for y'all. Uh, but I want to get all these videos in. I'm going to work on another video tomorrow. Not sure what fight yet. I got a couple of options. I may do Andy Cruz. Um, I may not. Someone requested Sam Eggington. I may do that. But this, to me, is easy. Edgar Berlanga, minus 525. You take him one and a half times. He makes 28.57. You lock in the profit. You can parlay it. This is a pretty safe bet. I like this. This is a pretty good lock. Berlanga is going to win this fight. McCrory is not very good. Take the money. Lock it in. If you uh, can find odds, props on a stoppage, let me know. I would stay away from the over-under on this. Um, but if you can find the stoppage, I, I like a late stoppage. But it could come in any round. Let me know if you guys find it. Let me know what you think of this. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below in the videos. Please, again, follow my Patreon. The link is in the description. It's five dollars a month. You get the lock of the week. You get the free T-shirt. You get you ask me about handicap any fight. You got it all. Just five dollars a month. And again, guys, five dollars a month. Each one of these videos takes me probably six hours. You know, five hours of watching the video. Then I have to record it, title it, all that stuff. I'm looking at about six hours of video. If, if you want me to break down a fight, it's not a problem. Just join the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. I, I give you six hours of work on a video for as many videos as you want. Uh, plus, you get other perks as well. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. It is February 21st, 2024. From Texas to the world, 
Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.